I'm absolutely delighted now to be joined by Professor Joanna Morgan. Uh, Joanna, welcome. Yes, I'm very pleased to be here. Thank you very much for yep. taking the time. Now, your uh, lecture today, what, uh, what's it about and, and what are the takeaways from your talk? Um, so I'm going to talk about the Chicxulub crater. I'm going to talk about the fact that an asteroid hit us uh, 66 million years ago um, and probably caused a mass extinction. Um, so I think I'm going to start uh, with a bit of background about the impact theory, um, how it was absolutely thrown out initially, so nobody believed it. And it took, it took sort of 20-ish years for, for it to get this sort of gradual acceptance. And so now the consensus is that that, that, that actually happened. So what was your role on the project? Um, so I've had a few roles. I was, um, I'm a seismologist, so one of the first things that I did was um, go and acquire seismic data across the crater. It's buried beneath the surface. And um, what we used that seismic data for was to map the crater, to determine how big it was. That's very important for impact energy and um, what's its, what the structure of the crater was. And so I've, I've done two seismic experiments and I've been involved in two drilling projects. So we've been drilling the crater, so we have to, to sample it, we actually have to have, um, drill into it. And recovering rocks to, to better understand um, the crater formation, to understand sort of recovery of life after impact and lots of other things. Tell me what's a peak ring. I believe the peak ring was quite important with this project. Yes, yeah, so, so this particular crater is the only crater on Earth with a peak ring and it's a very strange feature, feature an internal ring of, 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 of hills inside the middle of the crater. And so there was lots of models for how these, these rings were formed, how these, these mountains were formed. Um, so one of, the, one of the things that we wanted to find out is exactly um, how peak rings are formed. And that tells us um, about other sort of craters on other planets as well. And, 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 and so we can, use, we can use our understanding of large crater formation to tell us about other planetary bodies, um, about the surface of planetary bodies, because uh, there's sort of a constant gardening as, as impacts hit the surface of planets. Tell me a little bit about the 3D imaging work you do at Imperial, uh, both on this project and, and how it came about in the first place. So, so we um, developed a new technology, it's called full waypoint inversion. Um, we did it with the sponsorship of the oil industry. Um, it took about two years to get it to, to work successfully, uh, so it was a long, long project. And what it does is it, we can produce very high resolution models of the subsurface. Um, so the oil industry sponsored us so that they could um, look at reservoirs and, and basically better target their drill sites. Uh, but we use it also to, for more for academic targets, to look, at, um, to look at subduction zones, to look at uh, magma beneath the surface of, um, of volcanoes. Um, and also the, we used it in the Chicxulub, for the Chicxulub crater, so imaging this thing called the peak ring. Uh, and, and those images were used actually to, to determine where to drill, so to, to decide where to drill ourselves. Why is this, my final question is, why is this particular crater so important in the world of geoscience? Well, it's, it's uh, just such a fabulous story. So, so it, it's a very exciting story. If I'm on a plane and I tell people what I do to a stranger, they, you know, they, they almost always know something about it. So it's a story that, that almost the whole world knows about. And, and of course, you know, they should really, because if an asteroid hit us 66 million years ago, the, you know, the dinosaurs who'd been ruling for over 100 million years died out. Um, the mammals walked through and, and that led to our own evolution. So, so it's a pretty important event in Earth's history. Thank you very much indeed for telling the story to us today. Okay. We really appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Thank you.